Hey guys, how's it going? I saw a lot of people online didn't know how to apply your displacement maps onto a ZBrush model. So, if I got my character create a 3 model, um, I'd get a head, get the normal map, I would then export the normal map, and here, you want to go onto your texture, you want to then import your displacement map or your normal map. So I import that. Then you want to select that map, flip it, because ZBrush flips your normals for some reason, or flips your texture maps, I'm not sure why. But, yeah, so after that, so make sure your model is subdivided. Go into your lower subdivision, go into texture map, create a new texture map, new from UV. You see it's like that, so you want to do new from poly paint so that your model's grey or whatever colour it is from poly paint. After you've done that, you want to go into displacement map, you don't want to import your head normal. Intensity, this just said 0.3 maybe. And you'll see that the displacement from that normal will be applied to your mesh. So with my head, so you can see all the skin details there that I had before. You can go on your normal map. I'm not sure if this does much, but... You can do that. I'm not sure how to do. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that, but. Oh well. Anyway, that's um. <clears throat> so the displacement map is applied to your head, um, and if you export it out, you'll get exact same um, maps back. But basically, if you want to improve this sculpt. You can get skin alphas, and um, what I've done is I got texture XYZ alphas. I can then go into that, go into drag rect alpha, where is it? XYZ face. <clears throat> Let's select that one. So I think this is the I well, like that. when you have um, XYZ alphas make sure your mid mid value is at 50 when you bring in the alpha because then it won't have any of that um, it won't change the sort of shape of the head while doing it it'll just apply the alpha to it so then you apply you know new skin alphas to your models and you can do that but with this intensity you go 0 0.3 0 0.4 doesn't matter too much um, make sure your mid value is 0.7 and then apply a displacement map. That will apply all that detail to your mesh. And after you've done all the extra skin detailing you want to do, you can then export the low poly, um, FVX export. Make sure so it's lowest, lowest, um, lowest subdivision. Export that and then export the high poly. Once you've done that, so once you've exported the low and the high, go into Substance Painter. All this is set up already, so I didn't have to wait for it to load up. But as you can see, you have to bake, so you, you, know, you bring in your mesh, choose 4K. Um, yeah, new 
select, select your head, select resolution 1496, bake mesh maps, choose, I chose 8K just for the hell of it, choose your high poly, so head high, um, yeah, bake down. Now what that will do is that will create all that skin detail there. So it's pretty well done, but the normal map before hasn't been applied to the head. So what I did was get that sort of normal map, Gun Substance Painter. As you can see, the sort of UV has been flipped. So what you want to do is, yeah, create a fill layer. Bring in your normal map, put the normal map right there, and just rotate 180 degrees. And do that, because then that, if you bring that right side to the left, it flips it horizontally. Yeah, it flips it horizontally um, to make the normal map fit. Once you've done that, you'll get normal as well as the displacement map well made. You can then export the textures and bring them in. Now, originally, that model looks like... Originally, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the sort of difference on there. I'm not sure if the video quality is good enough to see a difference, but you might. So as you can see, with the you know the 4K images that they give you on Character Creator, the skin is quite smooth, um, still decent quality, but you get that versus that. Skin's a lot more detailed. You can see more of the skin pores. Um, so yeah, just doing that extra little bit of work inside a ZBrush and then exporting out to Substance Painter really does help the, um, the final image look good. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the video I wanted to do today. Um, just to show you guys what you can do on, well, the diff, well, what you can do by combining te textures X, Y, Z, and ZBrush with the Character Creator three textures by in Substance Painter. By combining all that together, you can improve your Character Creator three models quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I think I think the whole process of me doing that. I think I did this yesterday. It took me about, what, maybe 20 minutes to do that whole thing. And immediately you get a much better result. Um, I think Textures XYZ have... Um, yeah, I think Textures XYZ have, like, a big bundle of skin detail you can get. Um, where you can get, you know, female 20s, male 30s, loads of stuff together. Um, where, let's see... Yeah, and you get full face 40s, um, ultimate bundle. So yeah, I think you get one of these, you can then apply the whole thing inside a ZBrush. It gives you, you know, it gives you help deciding where to put stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully that video did help you guys who are using character creator 3 or even help those pers those people using you know zbrush to bring in your displacement maps just to bring in a bit more detail um but yeah hopefully the whole sort of video helped you guys um, if it did please leave a comment um if there's any videos you guys want me to do or any ideas that you have for me um please let me know um yeah please let me know if there's any ideas or any videos you want me to do for you other than that, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope your sculpting goes well. And like, subscribe. Um, yeah. So, thanks.
Bye, guys.